now that the governor, Larry Hogan, has rescinded the stay at home order and lifted some restrictions on commerce, small businesses in Harford County are getting ready for a busy weekend. WMER2 News Jeff Hager has more on that story for us tonight. Nine weeks after closing their doors, businesses here in Harford County are celebrating the chance to reopen. He's in the business of cutting hair. The spots are filling up, so what you need? But Angelo Monaco is splitting time between cutting hair and scheduling cuts now that Town Barbers on South Main Street in Bel Air is preparing to reopen at 50% of its capacity. It's ringing all the time, nonstop, and text messages and emails and... I can't keep up with it, to be honest with you. I just can't. Two doors down, outside the Nest gift shop, Kathy Gromacki and her daughter are doing a little spring cleaning, both inside and out, as they prepare to reopen its door. We're lifting things up for people to see better and not have to walk around, and they can feel comfortable um, with the distance between each customer. Harford County Executive Barry Glassman says social distancing, face masks, and hand washing will all be crucial for the reopening businesses to protect their employees and customers alike. And the county is easing code restrictions to provide additional distancing. I'm going to sign a, an order this afternoon that will also loosen county standards so retailers can use their parking lots and outdoor spaces as retail areas too if they choose to do that. Uh, most of the research indicates that's a safer way to do business. And whether it's bringing back furloughed workers to the gift shop. I'm bringing them all back. Or to the barber shop. I'm bringing back two full-time barbers. Even at half of their capacity, they look forward to being back in business. How about Saturday? You have anything Saturday? I can give you one o'clock with Joe. As we previously reported, the county also recently got $22 million in federal COVID grant money and will begin accepting applications from small businesses next week helping them to get back on their feet. Reporting in Harford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.